about what our liver does. Our liver is our largest internal organ. It weighs between three and a half and five pounds. It's seated on the right side of your body, right up under your ribs and goes almost all the way across your upper body as you'll see here on this slide. It's responsible for over 500 different functions. Uh, the liver's biggest role is to be like a filter in a fish tank. Whatever you eat, drink, breathe, or absorb through your skin is processed by your liver. Your liver acts like a rechargeable battery. Um, so as you eat, it stores up energy and nutrients you don't need right away. And then as you need them, it's gonna let them back out. So it helps to build muscle. Um, it also makes bile to digest food. So as you'll see from this image, we have, actually, I think I can do a little laser pointer. Here we go. So here on the liver, um, it makes bile and then it's stored in the gallbladder, which then goes to the stomach and the intestines for, for processing fats and other foods. Our liver also stops, stops cuts from bleeding. So when you get a cut and it scabs over, it's your liver doing its job. Our liver kills germs. It plays a very big role in the immune system and it breaks down anything that's gonna be toxic or harmful to your body. It's this really hardworking, incredible organ but it's almost hard to appreciate because it's not like our heart or our lungs where we have this everyday physical feature and, and experience of the, the organ doing its thing. I honestly thought I knew what the liver did until my mother was in liver failure. And then I just started seeing all of these functions go away. And that's when I truly appreciated how important the liver was. When we talk about liver disease like viral hepatitis, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, we first really need to understand the progression of liver disease. The way the liver gets damaged really looks the same regardless of the disease we're talking about. So whether it's something like hepatitis C, uh, lifestyle related liver disease like non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or alcohol induced liver disease or an autoimmune or what we call cholestatic or bile related liver diseases, the damage that happens to the organ itself looks the same. So a healthy liver is nice and red and smooth. You'll see two pictures of it here. When a, when a healthy liver is, is, is good, it's a stage zero. We grade liver damage from zero to four. Generally speaking, we need to use either an ultrasound or something called a fibro scan, which checks to see how elastic or dense your liver is. And you can get these clear stages of liver damage. So as the liver becomes damaged, the first step does tend to be hepatitis, which unfortunately is not um, pictured here, but all the world hepatitis means is that your liver is inflamed. So HEPA means liver itis, like appendicitis or bronchitis just means inflammation. So first your liver will inflame hepatitis and then scars start to form. This is the natural healing process. If you think about when you get an injury or a cut to your skin, first the area kind of swells and then it's replaced by scar tissue. That's the natural healing process our liver undergoes. So first we see inflammation, hepatitis, and then scars called fibroids to begin to develop. As someone enters into fibrosis, these scars can become more and more uh, expansive throughout the liver, cover more of the healthy liver cells, and actually replace those healthy, hardworking liver cells. So stages one, two, and three were in this place of fibrosis, and the great thing about that is that fibrosis can be reversed. So if you're able to get diagnosed with liver disease in, say, stage two or stage three, remove whatever that underlying cause is, say it's hepatitis C, you cure the virus, you give your body some nice healthy time, the liver will actually be able to regenerate fully back to a healthy liver. The liver is incredible in its regeneration. We can actually cut a liver in half and get two livers out of it, which allows us to do live liver transplants. Um, but the healthy liver and, and even a damaged liver is able to regenerate and replace healthy functioning cells from where those scar tissues are building. However, sometimes that damage just happens faster than the liver can regenerate. So that's when we step into a stage four or a cirrhosis. In stage four, we are getting to a point where it's gonna to be tough to kind of backpedal to see any sort of regeneration. Stage four is that point of cirrhosis. The thing with cirrhosis, many people hear it and they tend to think about alcohol, but all cirrhosis means is your liver is extremely scarred. You have more scar tissue than actual healthy tissue. So when you have cirrhosis, you will also probably have to start undergoing liver cancer screenings. It's very common for someone to develop a liver cancer once they have cirrhosis. So just keep this in mind as we discuss today these different stages of liver disease. Hepatitis, swelling, fibrosis, stage one, two, and three, and stage four, which is cirrhosis.